Okay, welcome to part one uh, of this tutorial series. Um, in the <laughs> um, 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 uh, in this video, we're going to be creating um, the sort of entire. Well, we're not going to create the entire system. We're going to make a start on the uploading images code. Um, I'm also going to very briefly mention a slight modification to the file structure that we need to make. And um, before I get onto that, I just quickly point out that this is basically what we ended up with at the end of the user profile tutorial. So uh, this page here is basically what we ended up with. So as you can see, the avatar image has gone, um, and it's just what we actually, you know, like the final profile that we sort of designed. And if we just go back to the uh, forward even to the list of files uh, and go to the edit profile page, you can see that the um, file upload form has also gone. So we're just starting with literally what we ended up with at the at the end of the user profile tutorial. Uh, so the file structure is also the same as um, the file structure was for the user profile tutorial. So we have these three pages. These are the two that we just saw. We're not going to be modifying the user list at all because that's just literally a list of users. There's no need for it to be modified in any way. So next thing, first thing we need to do is create somewhere to store the avatars. And we're going to store the avatars in this core folder. Um, so in this folder we're going to cr uh, create a new folder called user avatars. Avatars, there we go. So this folder will contain all of the images that will be used on the profile page. Uh, the reason it's in here is that it's uh, a location that we will always know the sort of path to. So we can use this that core path variable that we always create. Although for this I called it path for some reason. So yeah, that's why we're doing that. So, moving on to the actual code. The first thing that we need to do is... Oops, you saw my other tutorials there, that's good. First thing we need to do is create a way for the user to upload their profile image. So, what we're going to do is uh, go to the Edit Profile page and go down to the HTML section and we're going to add the file input down here. So we're going to create a new div element because each sort of section was in a div element and then in this we're going to create a new label and it's going to be for the avatar input and its text is just going to be avatar uh, tar. oh typing label still got there we go good um, and just after that we need to add an input and it's going to its type is going to be set to file because we want, we want the user to select a file I'm going to set the name to avatar and also we're going to set the ID to avatar like so and that's basically that done a small HTML modification um, one other thing that we need to change is that we need to add the enc, enc type attribute to the uh, actual form and this is going to be set to multi part slash form data uh, and this basically just makes file uploads work um, I do have a video, a basics video on file uploads, so if you want to know a little bit more about that, you should probably go and watch that. Or to be honest, I think I said the same thing, it just makes file uploads work. So now that we have our HTML code modified, we need to scroll up and sort of uh, add to this code to handle file uploads. Now if you remember in the original um, part zero, <laughs> um, I said that we don't want to um, have the avatar changed all the time. So if the user doesn't select a new avatar, we just want to keep the defa uh, default, keep the current one. So what we're going to do is first check if the uh, image has been submit. So notice up here that we're not che we're not making the file input one of the required fields, and we're going to check it here because it's optional. So we do if is set files avatar temp name. That should be files there, not file. Um, so what this will do is just return true because this will be set if the user has selected a file and if they haven't it won't be so then we'll just ignore this block basically so just some very simple validation on the file type is the sort of thing we're going to do for the errors checking error checking add to the errors array that's what I'm trying to say so to do this we're just going to check the file extension against a list of allowed ones so the first thing we need to do is actually get the file extension so I'm going to define a new variable called file ext, file ext, that'll do. And this is going to be equal to end explode 
with an X, not a Z, period, and the file name, which is stored in the files array again, under avatar, because that's the name of the input, and then name. Oops. So what, we'll get, what's, what we're doing here is splitting up the file name into sections that are separated by a full stop or a period. And then the end function is getting the last one of those, which is the file extension. So that'll be like JPEG um, or PNG or one of those. Now what we need to do is check this file extension against a list of allowed file extensions. So we're going to do if in array because we're going to be checking against multiple things. It's kind of nicest to use an array for this. So you have to like duplicate loads of code over and over again. So if in array file file ext and then we need the array. So we're not going to be using a variable here, we're just going to use the array sort of function thingy. So you sort of create an array in line if you like. So if in array equals false Add to the errors array, errors, whoops, the file, uh, okay, let's just do your avatar must be an image. Now there is a slight problem here because um, this will, oh, well obviously I need to finish what I'm doing. So before I talk about the slight problem, let's add the list of file extensions. So we need to do um, four file extensions we're going to have, jpg for jpegs, JPEG for, I can't remember what saves that as that, it's like paint or something, with the E, um, or PNG, or GIF, because they are the three formats for extensions uh, that PHP can support and compress and all that good stuff. So, onto that slight problem that I mentioned. Um, the slight problem is that these are all lowercase, and file extensions can be uppercase, or a combination of uppercase and lowercase. Um, so the best thing to do here is to just check the sort of lowercase extension. So we're going to use the str to lower function around the file extension before we check the in array thing. And you could also use that up here, but that's not actually the file extension then, is it? That's the lowercase file extension, which is why we use this here. Basically, that's fairly up to you. I'm just being a bit picky. Um, so yeah, the lowercase file extension has to be one of these. If it's not, we'll get this error. So that's basically it for the error checking for the file upload. Um, and next thing we need to do is modify our set profile info function to show the avatar. No, sorry, to also update the avatar. So that's where we go back to our well, we go to our user backend file. Um, but just before we do that, we're going to pass in the parameter, and then we're going to go and mo modify our actual function code. So, um, our set profile info function has to take a fourth parameter that we haven't defined yet, and this is going to be the location of the image that we want to use as our profile image. Um, so, this is just files avatar tump name. So, this is the temporary location of the file that the server creates when it receives a file upload. Like, normally, you would like use move uploaded files on this to move the files to somewhere inside your site. Um, but just for this, we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to be using its temporary location to create the thumbnail directly from there. Um, now, there is another little slight problem here, because if the user doesn't select a file, this won't be set. So we'll get an undefined index message, which is bad. We don't like those. Um, so what we can do is just check it again here. Um, that's probably the easiest way to solve this problem. Um, and we're going to use the ternary operator, um, because one of the nice things about the ternary operator is that you can use it sort of in a function, effectively. So you can use the result of a ternary comparison, that doesn't seem right, but anyway, um, as a function parameter. So like, well, I'll just, mm, I'll just write it in line, that's probably the best thing, easiest way to do it. So the condition that we're going to be checking is, is set, add a space there, I'll make it a bit clearer. And if it is set, what we want to use is it, so avatar temp name. And if it's not, we are just going to use false. And we can remove that space. So the result of this condition, this check here, this full like thing, will be passed as the fourth parameter. So if the temporary name, sorry, if the avatar has been uploaded, 
it'll pass in the uh, temporary name of the, the name of the temporary file, and if it hasn't, it'll just pass in false. So then, in our function code, we can check this fourth parameter against false, or we're actually we're going to be checking if the file exists. And then, if it does, we can continue with the um, resizing. And if it doesn't, we will just ignore that little bit and sort of move on. Um, that's it, basically, for modifications of this uh, file. And just to check it, I'm going to load the page again, make sure there are no syntax errors, and there are not, which is good. And you can see that this avatar uh, field has been added. Um, there may be HTML errors. Um, you may notice that my add-on that says HTML errors has gone. Uh, it's kind of nice, actually, because that used to make me quite obsessive, but yeah. Um, the guy that makes it hasn't updated it yet. I'm not sure why I'm talking about this now. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's just click update to make sure it works. Uh, oh, okay, that's not supposed to have happened. Or is it? The avatar must be an image. Let's go back to our code. Sorry, wrong file. Ah, that's interesting. Apparently that's always set, even if you don't select a file. Oh, sorry, okay. <laughs> it should be empty. Equals false. Um, I was, I'm not sure why I typed is set. Uh, and this down here should be the other way around. So if it is empty, we're going to pass in false. And if it's not, oh, that's completely backwards. And if it's not, we're going to pass in the parameter. So I've just sort of reversed that condition because the empty function returns true if it is empty. So reload our page again. Hit update. Error has gone, which is good. So sorry about that. Um, the code that I wrote before going to the doing this, is I'm looking at my other screen, and I have used the empty function. I'm not sure why I typed is set. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Small problem fixed now. Uh, so yeah, that's basically that. So without the avatar selected, it will just update these three fields, and with it selected, it will also update the avatar. So obviously, the thing we need to do next is go to our backend file and add the code to handle this final parameter. Um, or was it that I used the wrong name? No, okay, well. So let's go to our backend file and add to this function to handle the uploads. So this is the function we're going to be modifying. It sets profile info, um, and the final parameter is just going to be the avatar. And this is going to be the location to the um, avatar image. I'm going to say basically, that's just what it is. Um, we're not going to do any va like escaping because we're not going to be storing this in the database, which is why I haven't talked about the database at all so far. So for database structure, you should go back and watch my other video. Uh, but we're just going to be storing the um, avatar image just with the ID of the user as the name. That way we don't have to waste any more space in the database um, because we already know the ID, that's already there. We don't have to like also store the name of the file. And also that means that there will not be any collisions between file names so that's kind of good and also prevent people from uploading avatars to not their profile ow i just clipped a crocodile clip on my finger <laughs> pro right might have to edit this slightly anyway <laughs> okay um getting back to what i was talking about um, what we need to do inside this function is check that the avatar uh, file exists because if the if they don't specify a file there will be no file here this will just be equal to false uh, so we're just going to check if file exists, avatar, and we're going to do something. And the something that we're going to be doing is resizing the image and uploading it. I shouldn't really say uploading it, copying it to the core folder. So um, for resizing the image, um, actually I think I'll end here because it's sort of come to a nice sort of point to stop. Um, and resizing the image is quite complicated. So yeah, so thanks for watching and join me in part two where I will continue with this code and talk about image resizing.